In the early 80s, when I first became a paramedic, formalized emergency driving classes didn't exist. Paramedics, firefighters, and police officers were just thrown behind the wheel of emergency vehicles without formal training. Brainstorming helped me put together one of the first formal emergency driving courses in the United States. I'm Jim Becca. After finishing graduate school, I was hired at the University of Texas to produce a video over emergency driving. And there was very little reference material in the country back then. The University of Texas was a little nervous and they told me I would probably be establishing the national standard. They said, you better get it right. I had to be careful. I went on to help write the national textbook on emergency driving for the Brady Publishing Company. One of the tools I used was brainstorming. I got some paramedics and firefighters together and we threw out ideas. Nobody was made fun of and all ideas were considered. They got to feel freedom to express themselves and share things knowing they won't be ridiculed. The emergency personnel, even though they didn't have formal training, had a lot of actual driving experience. These were the veterans and so I counted on them to come up with their, the things they had experienced. I wrote down lots of ideas. Some were pretty good. In my emergency driving instructional program that I went on to develop, the material, again, came from the actual emergency crews working the streets. It was just formalized. What I did in brainstorming, one, is assemble people who knew something about the subject. Now the next thing to remember is the moderator must keep everyone on track. Paramedics in particular were bad about getting off in old war stories and you can talk for hours about that kind of stuff. Start with their feelings about the topic. In the case of emergency driving, I had paramedics talk about how they felt about the dangers associated with emergency driving. I personally had been in two serious accidents while working as a paramedic. And one of the worst things I remember is having to get out of my ambulance and take care of people whose car we had just slammed into. One of the passengers was laying next to the car unconscious. Next, ask them to identify objects associated with their feelings. In my case, I remember a dark intersection with a car on its side and the passenger. She hadn't been wearing a seat belt and had been thrown from the car. Finally, come up with words associated with the topic. I taught emergency EMS training in Houston for many years, and a phrase that I picked up from one of the brainstorming sessions was, when emergency driving, don't go through an intersection until you see the whites of their eyes. I taught that a long time, and actually, uh, a few years ago, one of my former students, who's now a trainer for the Houston Fire Department, came up to me and told me he shares that with all his trainees. Of course, what I was saying was, make sure everyone is looking at your ambulance before you go through an intersection. I'm Jim Becca.